Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this satisfying loop in Blender. So let's get started. You will need Blender 3.6 Alpha for this to work. You can find a link to that in the description. In the Geometry Notes tab, add a plane and click on New. Delete the group input and add a UV sphere. We will have to distribute points in the volume of the UV sphere, so let's add a mesh to volume node. Set the resolution to Size. Now set the voxel size to 0 0.01. Add a distribute points in volume node. Set that to grid and set this to 0.2. Add an instance on points node. For the instance let's add a cube. Add an index of nearest node. Take the UV map and plug it into the position. Now add a sample index node. Plug the value into the scale. Also take the geometry and plug it into the points. Take the index and plug it into the index. We also need a position node, plug that into the value here. Now add a vector math node, set it to divide and let's set this vector to 1.25. For the rotation let's add an align Euler to vector node, plug the position into the rotation and into the vector, set it to set, add a rotate instances node, open the timeline and make sure you are on frame 1. Now keyframe the rotation, on frame 251 set it to 360 and keyframe it again. Add a scale instances node, add a mix color, take the result and plug it into the scale, take this value and plug it into B and make a black. Now add a gradient texture and set it to spherical. Take the color and plug it into the effector. Add a set material node. Let's also add a subdivision surface node. Set the edge crease to 0.3 and the level to 3. By the way, if any of the cubes are intersecting, you can change this value here. Add a join geometry node. Duplicate the UV sphere and put it here and plug the mesh into the geometry. Set the segments to 64 and the rings to 32. Duplicate the subdivision surface node. Let's also duplicate the set material node. To give the sphere some thickness add an extrude mesh node. Set the offset scale to 0 0.01 and uncheck individual. Instead of the UV sphere I decided to use an icosphere with the subdivision set to 6. I don't know if you can see this but with the UV sphere it doesn't look that nice. Add a set shade smooth node. Now create two new materials. I called one of them cubes and the other one sphere. Let's select the cubes here and the sphere here. Let's save now. Go to shading. We're going to have to use cycles. In the world properties select sky texture. In the render properties set the max sample to 256. Go to film, make it transparent and enable transparent glass. Under color management set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Set these values back to default before compiling the images. Make sure the sphere material is selected. Delete the principal BSDF and add a glass BSDF. Add a noise texture. Set the scale to 100 and the detail to 15. Plug the factor into the roughness. Add a color ramp. Bring the white into somewhere around here and make it gray. Take the color and plug it into the normal and add a bump node. Use the height and set the strength to 0.007. Now select the cubes material. Make the base color blue, set the metallic to 1. Save again and go back to loud mode, press delete on the numpad and 1. Add a camera, press ctrl alt 0, add an empty, plane axis, press 3 to go into side view and press G and Y and put it here. Select the camera, go to the object data properties and enable depth of field. Select the empty here, set the f-stop to 1.5 and the blades to 16. Save again and press F12, close this window and go to compositing, enable use nodes and denoising data, add a denoise node, add a glare node, set it to fog glow and set it to high. Set the size to 6 and let's Control shift click on the node here, press shift and right click and drag over here. Now move these over here, add an alpha over node, use this image here and make this a light blue. Add a color balance node, make the lift blue, the gamma red and the gain yellow. Duplicate the alpha over node and again use this image here and make this one black. Go to view and let's zoom out. Add a box mask, plug the mask into the factor here, set this to 0.9 and this to 0.5. Add a blur node, set the X and Y to 300, add a mix node. Here let's use a texture. Set the factor to 0 0.03. Now go to the texture properties, click on new, select clouds here and set the size to 0 and select it here. In the output properties I'm going to set the frame rate to 60. Select an output folder. I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe.
If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.